hi all welcome to my channel data wisdom in our previous video we have seen what is the scan component and how do we use it into ab initio and why is it used for in today's video we'll see an example how can we select some output record based on filter condition to find out some particular condition record out of scan component so we'll take one scenario where we have to find out second highest salary from each group okay so let's see our input data so we have few department data available with us where we are having few employees and their salaries okay so now we have to find out the second highest salary from each department and which are the employees those are getting that particular salary so if this 10,000 salary if it is the second highest salary into department ID 10, there are two employees named Vishal and Vishesh who are getting this salary and we'll need all those records into our output file. Okay. So for implementing this logic, first we'll have to sort our data based on department ID. Since we'll be using our key specifier as key method, which will be department ID. And we are sorting our salary into descending order to compare it and to derive the rank for the salary so that we can filter out the second highest salary okay and to scan component we have used sorted input set input must be sorted key method we are using key specifier which is our department id reject threshold we have set on our bottom first reject but you can change it based on your requirement let's see how did we write our code into scan component to find out the second highest salary okay so for finding out second highest salary, we have declared two variables. First is T underscore cell, which is for holding our salary. T underscore rank will assign rank to the salaries after comparison of the salaries. Okay. So since we have declared these two variables, we'll also have to initialize these. So I have initialized T underscore cell variable to input salary and T underscore rank to one. Okay. So this is the default value. This is the value which is coming from input for initializing these two variables. Okay. Now into scan component, we'll write a logic to increment the rank. If my temporary salary is greater than input salary, then I'll increment the rank. Otherwise I'll keep the rank as is. And salary, I'll assign whatever is coming from my input record. Okay simple logic we are just comparing the salaries we are incrementing the rank and input salary we are mapping as is okay in finalize function we are mapping our output columns so we do not have to do any operation on department id and employee name so we are directly mapping it into finalize function salary we are mapping it to again whatever input salary we are getting and temporary rank we are calculating the value of temporary rank into scan function so for every record, our scan function and finalize function will execute. We have seen it into the scan components runtime behavior into our previous video. So if you have not gone through that video, I'll paste the link of that video into description box. Kindly go through that video. It will be easier for you to understand. And at the last into output select function, we are selecting the records for which the value of count is 2 this count we are populating with rank from scan function so what it will do it will be executed for each input record and it will check for whichever output record the value of count is 2 it will filter out those output records okay now let's go and try to execute this component on this graph and we'll see what output do we get so meanwhile the graph is running i'll open the input data for you guys okay so these are the input records this is the output that has been generated out of scan component so let's see so we were having 10,000 at the second highest salary into department id 10 so we have got two output records okay into department ID 20, second highest salary was 40, 14,000, which was unique. So we have got only one output record for department ID 20. Similarly, for department ID 30, second highest salary was 2,000. We have got 2,000 as an output. Into department ID 40, we were having only one record. 
that's why the value of count was not incremented to 2 and we have not got this output record into our output file okay similarly you can find out the third highest or nth highest salary per group of record you will just have to filter change your filter condition into output select function in similar fashion if you have any other requirement where you want to filter out your output records from scan component you can write it into output select function and you can fetch that particular 